Today we're making a grilled corn and snap pea salad with some goat cheese on it and tossed with a nice champagne vinaigrette. This is really delicious, very quick to make, and just you're gonna love it, the flavors and the textures. I discovered this recipe on Cameron Diaz's Instagram page. You really should go there and check it out. She's got some other recipes. And she was putting this together and I was watching it. And I said, hmm, that's kind of interesting because what, what we're gonna do is take some grilled corn that's already cooked and mix it with some fresh sliced snap peas. Seems a little unusual, but when you put it all together, the flavors are so nice and fresh, nice and crunchy, super delicious, guys. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. So I like to start off with our first chef joke. We'll have a second one a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. So how is an ear of corn like an army? Because it has a lot of kernels. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with our snap peas. So I rinsed mine, try and get organic if you can. And you're gonna trim off each little end just because it's a little tough spot. So we'll trim those off. And then you wanna just chop them up into little strips like this. Now one thing about when Cameron made this recipe, she did not measure out stuff. You know, it was just a handful of this, handful of that. I think that's kind of a sign of a good cook. My dad was the same way. Uh, when I was working with him, he taught me how to cook Mexican food and everything was by the handfuls. Now this recipe is very customizable, like I said. Uh, like I said, I changed it up a little bit and you know, I'll, I'll explain what I did as, I, as we go along, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these up and then we'll move to the corn. All right, I'm gonna stop with this last snap pea here just because I want, I want the ratio to be you know, an equal amount of snap peas to corn. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna get out of this, but we'll see. You wanna shuck your corn. That means take off all the stuff, get all the hairs off. You see all this, we'll just pull this off. Give it a rinse and we're good to go. Now, if your corn on the cob is really big and long, you might wanna cut it in half. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this in half just to show you. Okay, and we'll stand it on end and you just wanna shave off the kernels. And they go flying all over the kitchen. So round them up. Now this is making one serving. So if you want to make like a big dish of this and say you're going to have a barbecue and you got a few people, you're going to want to, you know, do a few ears of corn. You can make a nice big salad ahead of time. And this is just going to be a wonderful dish to add. Okay, so that's roughly about the same amount, right? That's what I shoot for. I've got my snap peas in the bowl, and we're gonna take our corn over to the stove. Okay, so here at the stove, I got my frying pan over medium low heat. I wanna get it, just get it a little hot. Uh, maybe I'll go up to medium, get it warm, and then I'm gonna turn it down. Now what we're gonna do is I have my corn here. I have some olive oil here that I'm gonna put in the bottom of the pan, not too much. And uh, some butter, just a touch of butter, just a hint for flavor. Butter and corn, I think go good good together. Uh, Cameron did not use butter in her recipe. All right, once that melts, we add the corn and we are gonna just cook this until it's nice and browned, caramelized. I have some minced garlic here that I prepared and that's gonna go in at the last minute when it's almost done, because we don't want that to burn. So we'll just spread this around and let her cook. And I'm gonna cook it on medium low because like I said, we're gonna go over and make some dressing for this, the champagne vinaigrette. And I don't want this to burn while we're away. So to make our dressing, I'm just gonna place, I, well, I'll go ahead and measure a little bit for you to give you an idea. And I'm gonna go with a tablespoon of oil, that's olive oil, and our champagne vinegar. You gotta get some of this, guys, it's really good. Very tasty, I'm gonna go for about the same amount. And if you have leftovers because you don't use it all in your salad, it makes a great dressing for just about any salad. Then take an orange, or what I have is these little cuties, and we're gonna squeeze some fresh orange juice in there. Gives it a nice citrusy flavor. A 
and then we're gonna add a pinch of salt, crack or two of pepper, and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Take a little whisk, or in my case, a big whisk, and blend that up. Super simple, fast and easy, and quite tasty. You can give it a taste if you want. Oh, I love that. That is good. <laughs> that is really good. Our corn is still browning up over on the stove, so that means we have time for chef joke number two. So what's the difference between mashed potatoes and pea soup? Anybody can mash potatoes. <laughs> so here's our corn. You can see here the brown bits that are forming on the corn. That's flavor. That's good stuff right there. All right, so I'm gonna go just about another minute or so. Again, I'm on low heat right now so that I can you know, really manage this and not let it get too dark. Sometimes the corn will actually start to pop. You can put the grease splatter screen over it if you want to. I would not put a lid on this, okay, when you're cooking it, and Cameron talks about it too, because what you're gonna end up doing is steaming this and you don't wanna steam it. You want it to caramelize and just, you know, get dark. Otherwise, it's just gonna, it's just gonna steam and it's not gonna get this nice color on it. All right, you can see the nice brown color we got here. Okay, we're gonna let this cook one more minute. Well, now we're gonna add our garlic for just a minute so that it doesn't burn and it just mellows out the flavor. Now what Carmen Diaz did in her recipe, she put this garlic in her dressing and that's raw garlic, has more of a bite. I don't care for it personally. So I chose to put it in the corn for just, like I said, one minute to just mellow out the flavor and boy, does it smell good. All right, we got our corn done, and now it's going in with the snap peas. So we just toss it right in there. If there's an excessive amount of oil in your pan, I would just try to leave that out if you can. Mine looks pretty good. So everything's going in. That little bit of butter just really I think, bumps up the flavor a bit. Now I have some fresh parsley here. I like to kind of finish it off with some fresh parsley. I like fresh herbs in my food. I'm going to give the dressing another little spin of the whisk here just to mix everything make sure it's well combined and I'm going to spoon over a few tables a couple of these over the top add as much as you want and then I'm going to add some of the cheese here now that I'm using goat cheese you can use feta feta works beautifully as well nice creamy uh, element to our dish now here's something that uh, Cameron did not add is nuts I like sliced almonds these are toasted, dry toasted, so I'm just gonna add a few. And then we'll give that a toss. Look at this. This looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of parsley to that on top. I can't wait to eat this. It is so darn good. It's time for a taste test. I'm gonna eat the whole thing though. Lots of good flavors going on here. The crunch is good. Mixing that grilled corn with the fresh raw snap peas is so delicious. It's crunchy, it's flavorful, it's got a little garlic hint in there. You've got the citrus flavor going on with the dressing and the champagne vinegar. Out of this world, Carmen Diaz, you rock with this recipe, it really is good. I also like her last name because that's my maiden name. Guys, try out this recipe. Let me know what you think. Head on over to Carmen's website too and check her out. You know, leave her a comment. Tell her you heard about it from me and that'd be great. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if there's one thing you can do for me, if you like the video only, smash the like button. All right, we'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.